So whenever we introduce something new, the question you should be asking yourself is what good is this? And I mean, occasionally the answer might just be that we're teaching something out of convention, but in general, if we're learning something new, it ought to be good for something. Otherwise, what's the point? And here, it's very easy to give an application of these polar coordinates to complex numbers. Multiplying complex numbers written in this R cosine plus I sine form. is easy. As a matter of fact, if we have got a product that looks like this, Maybe try to make these big parentheses visually distinct. If we've got one complex number written like this, so R1 is the cosine um, times the cosine of theta1 plus I times the sine of theta1. And we multiply by another complex number written like this. Then it turns out that we just need to multiply the R's and add the angles. We could formally approve of this using the various identities that we've seen in this course, but it's kind of tedious. So I'm instead, I guess, at just asking you to take my word for it. So for example, if we've got So two times the cosine, let me use degrees just for simplicity, the cosine of 20 degrees plus I times the sine of 20 degrees and we want to multiply that by six times the cosine of 40 degrees plus i times the sine of 40 degrees. Well, we multiply the two and the six. So 12 
and then that 20 and that 40 is going to get added. So it's a formula to commit to memory, yeah? but it's much simpler than a full way of Multiply two numbers, add two numbers. It also, and I, uh, I can teach you to divide complex numbers, so we can't really get into this. But if we do want to do division, it's much easier to do division with these polar coordinates than it is to do with re um, rectangular coordinates. So um, doing addition and subtraction are about, um, sorry, I was about to say they're about the same and that is not true. I use the, the word easy with the understanding that this is new to you and might not be easy, but let's say relatively easy. I mean, heck, since I brought it up. It will take about 10 seconds. I, I probably shouldn't give a specific number. Now I have to live up to that. We've got one complex number divided by another complex number. We do the division of the R's and then Instead of addition, we subtract the angles. So we can multiply and divide with relative ease when our um, complex numbers are written in this polar form. 